Welcome, my dears. If you're new, my name is Isa, and in summer 2023, I purchased a wooden farmhouse in a remote village in Latvia. My intent is to renovate it and live a slow life in the countryside. If you're curious to discover what will happen, follow me along. Some people were against my move, saying that there's nothing happening in a remote village. If you're used to what happens in a city, yes, nothing like that will happen. But there are 100 other things that can happen, and in my opinion, 100 times better than in the city. There are amazing things happening around you, and these can be in the form of a plant giving you fruits, a little bird peeking out from a bush, or just watching the moon raising at night. I love to just stop, look around and appreciate what I have. In the city, everything is so chaotic. You don't have time to stop because life goes at 100 miles per hour until one day you wake up and realize that it's not sustainable for your physical and mental health anymore. One of the most beautiful moments happening this summer in the village was my found cat, Malinka, bringing us four little kittens. It reminded me of when I was little and used to have cats and litters were happening even twice a year. She's been such a good mother, moving all her four kittens from behind the barn to the front. In the city, you can buy or adopt a cat, but probably you won't have a stray cat appearing, learning how to trust you and bringing you her beautiful four babies. Right guys, this is the barn, he's in the front, is the construction that they've made. As you can see, even the roof is falling off. First, it's not secure and it's not even waterproof. As I told you, there's quite a lot of rubbish. There might be some interesting things to be saved. These stairs can be used for something. Oh, there's a slate over there. <laughs> There's some pieces of bicycle. There's this old, it's like a milk, maybe. And that old oil lamp. That would be a future project. Maybe it is winter when it's gonna be snowy and I'll be stuck in the house. I can try to restore it. A door from somewhere. Maybe it was even the door of the barn. As you can see, this is the barn. But yeah, there's a lot of things going on. Here's the wood. This is a table creation from the previous owners. I really got upset when I found it because with a bit of TLC it would be able to serve its purpose for the time being but someone had a little DIY project and cut it in half and decided to make it in a shorter smaller table. This is the floor <laughs> As you can see, there's every kind of things. For me, it's a pity throwing away things that can be still used for something, especially when we don't have nothing in the house furniture-wise and also the budget is a bit tight. Let's get started and let's see what we find. Maybe we find some nice treasure or maybe we just find some rubbish. I have to say, even picking up rubbish, I have to be creative. Because we have what we had, and we couldn't drive to the nearest shop to get fancy things, I used whatever I found in the house to sort out the barn. The biggest problem were the pieces of glass everywhere that unfortunately were mixed with everything. You could let those separately otherwise it would have been dangerous to put them in the normal rubbish. I also created containers to save pieces of metal I found around. Will I use it? Probably not, but metal can be brought to the dump and they give you some money. There were 
also pieces of wood everywhere that I wanted to keep because useful for light up the fire. There were so many different things. It was so interesting discovering things from previous eras, previous owners, previous lives. This looks like once upon a time where you had to make, like to ground the flower. Oh yeah, I know what this is. This is a piece of the bed that I found pieces around the house and here's there's another piece of it. Oh, that's cute. This was for the milk. I managed to take these down. I was hoping that it was in better condition. It's not too, too, too bad. Yeah, I must say this sofa will go pretty much in the bin. As you can see, the other there's another bit. <laughs> not sure what this is for, but something. Then there is that corner. And yes, as you can see here, there was the hay. I just moved it <laughs> there. Unfortunately, it's not very clever moving from one place to another, but I cannot really put outside because otherwise it go wet. And at the moment, I don't really have any other spaces. 